Hey, what is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. On today's video, we are taking a look at Ada Cardano as this thing creeps closer and closer and closer to the apex of this triangle. Now we've been tracking this for about a month now. You know, we've been anticipating some of these to be breakouts. Some events could have gotten us out of this triangle and none of it just seemed to do what we needed it to do. But at the moment, it does seem as if we are getting within two weeks at this point of seeing that breakout. And I'm very excited to see where it goes because I do think one way or another, there is still bullish momentum behind the move so let's go ahead and talk about what i am going to be doing how i am prepared for a breakout of the top side or the bottom side my expectations my anticipations and more so first and foremost let's just get the bat out the way let's talk about what happens if this thing does break down to the downside you know if we lose this bottom level of support what does that mean for us well, personally, I've been expecting that we would break out to the top side, but there's a certain setup in the market right now that says there's a small chance we do break out to the downside before finding some support on our key support level and move back to the upside. Now, this reason being, if we go over to total market cap two, which is going to be the total accumulation of all crypto market caps, excluding Bitcoin. So the total market cap of all of your altcoins, we can see that we had this beautiful inverse head and shoulders pattern play out in which we broke the shoulder line right here. And we are looking to back test support. We're looking to hold support. Now, this back test of support could go anywhere from exactly on this line to a little bit down back, you know, around this area. There's a little bit more room left for this thing to fall before establishing that support and continuing upwards. So what this means for ADA is that if this does continue to fall down a little bit, we could see a small slight loss of our trend line here, right? I mean, we could be looking at the loss of support as total two creeps down in which ADA creeps down with it. Now, of course, we do see this VPVR support zone. So if we do come back down to realistically lose like $2.11, $2.10, that may lead to a bit of a, you know, a bit of a larger fall back towards $2 in which we see the price reset. Now, if this was to happen, I think during that time, total two would also look to find that support on this key level. And I'm still under the belief that we will see this full blown breakout to the top side. OK, you can see this massive cup and handle pattern that has formed. And it's not uncommon that once we start finding this area, once we start to approach this cup line, that we start to run into a bit of resistance. And so if the uh, total two just needs to come back down, establish some support, especially for its inverse head and shoulders before executing on that inverse head and shoulders and then executing on his cup line, that would not be a bad thing whatsoever. Although it may look like a short-term breakout to the downside for ADA, that could definitely have a lot of mid and long-term um, you know, implications if it is able to find some support on those key levels. And especially for ADA, if we can find some support around $2 and $1.90. So personally speaking, what I'm expecting is that if the price does break out to the downside, I will be accumulating. I'm going to accumulate until the loss of $1.90, okay? If we start to come back down and lose a dollar 90 that is going to be the first sign that i may have been just completely wrong and that we may be looking at some further continuation back towards a dollar and 60 cents and so personally speaking with my average is right now sitting directly at one dollar because i did a major massive buy on july 19th i'm still accumulating in these areas because i do believe that my average is so low that i'm going to remain in profit for a very long time if not forever and so with that if i can pick up some extra ada at these levels i'm totally okay with it and so personally speaking i will be accumulating on a breakout to the downside at two dollars and at a dollar 90 if it come down if it comes down that far so what if we see a breakout to the upside? You know, what does that look like and what would I be doing? Well, if we see a breakout to the upside, what I would personally be doing is just giving it a second. OK, so say if the price just immediately swings to the upside, we see that like total market cap two sees this massive push straight up. It touches that line without really falling much further than it does now. And then boom, we I mean, we absolutely explode. We see Bitcoin dominance running into resistance at its own cup line. Right. I mean, we see we see um, Bitcoin dominance here hitting its own cup and handle pattern. We see it start to lose that cup line and coming back down to find some uh, support at the these lower levels and we can just absolutely see that ADA is smashing it well what I would personally be doing is I would be given this one a second okay now the reason I say that is because this level and this has been such a very strong consolidational event that there is a very strong likelihood in my opinion that if we break out that will come back now to retest you know, you can see when we broke this trend line here, we retested it. When we broke this trend line here, we retested it. And so I'm under the belief that if we see that breakout, we'll likely see that retest possible a little ride all the way back down to our apex. Okay. 
Now, what will happen for me? When I, when will I start accumulating more? And when will I genuinely believe that this thing is gone? I mean, because I still have my $3.40 to $4 price targets for the end of this cycle. What I would be looking to do, uh, an, a conservative and effective strategy that I have, is once we find some support and break our previous breakout high, that is my entrance. Because remember, I'm not too worried about entering right now because my average is so low, personally. But if I want to increase my position, I'm going to wait for so much confirmation that we break out, establish support, and then clear that breakout high. And then once that happens, then I'm fully under the belief that we will see that move to the upside. I am under the belief still that on the breakout, well, we could possibly go as high as $2.50 to $2.40. I think that little range is going to provide us with a lot of resistance. And that may be what we run into before coming back down, establishing support, and then seeing the continuation to the upside. So overall, this is just my plan. This is what I'm going to be doing. And of course, it's not financial advice. You guys plan that out and you figure out exactly how you want to do it yourself. But personally speaking, I think having a game plan whenever we are clearly going to see a breakout within the next week or two is incredibly important to make sure you don't FOMO into something that is going to maybe come back down and retest support or that you don't panic sell on something that is simply just going back down to find support. OK, and so with that being said, of course, I will keep you guys as up to date as possible as this thing does play out as we do start to see movements happen as we start to see the price growing and dropping or doing anything like that you will be the first to know i am incredibly bullish on the future of ada and that is not changing no matter really what the short-term price does because i have a realistic belief that we will see four dollars five dollars six dollars ada in the future so with that being said of course if you guys do want to trade ada if you do want to get it yourself if you want to be able to buy it short it or do whatever you want go down to the link in the description or the comment the pin comment in the comment section it's a referral link to buy bit if you do go ahead and sign up and deposit five hundred dollars you will get twenty five dollars to play with for free and then also one random person who deposits five hundred dollars at the end of the month or honestly at the end of the week at this point you will get a random chance to win an extra five hundred dollars as it will enter you into a raffle and so with that being said definitely do go check it out and also go check out the patreon link down below where i do all my trades my trade alerts and all that good stuff and i hope to see you all next time peace